Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel and thank you very much for joining me today. So I thought after a week of YouTubing I might want to record an introduction video to introduce myself, what you can expect in this channel and why I'm doing this channel. So today I'm going to give a brief introduction of myself. My name is Louise Whiting and I'm a professional process safety engineer registered with YKNE. Over the last 11 years, I've been working with major operators, BP and Shell, in roles such as process safety engineer and process engineer. And I've worked onshore, offshore, UK, Iraq, uh, India, Azerbaijan, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, America. So I have quite a broad uh, spectrum of experience. And this experience is based mainly in the operational space. However, I do have some uh, experience in the project space as well. I also spent a couple of years in Wales, so I also have some experience in that area from the upstream. As you can tell, most of my experience is upstream. However, I'm very adaptable. Having graduated from Imperial College with a first class honours degree, I have really strong process engineering uh, foundation and I can adapt myself to almost anything. So just get in touch if there's something you want to know about you're not sure, you want me to look into something, I'll, I'll do it for you and we can share the learnings on here. I'm also uh, doing some guest lecturing at Imperial College and I'm a fellow with the Safety and Reliability Society. Now why would I do those things? Well I'm really passionate about education and that's really why I'm running this YouTube channel. I want to share what I've learned, I want to share what will save lives. And then a little bit about me personally, so I've been married to my husband for over 12 years now um, and we have a young family. I have my daughter who's eight and my son who's three. So why am I running this channel? If you even just look at this year, 2020, I know everything has gone completely wrong, but from a process safety perspective, there has been incident after incident after incident and each one of them have had more than five fatalities. We could have a look at one country and at least find three different incidents in that country where there's been a major process safety event. We can take two examples from 2020. One is the algae polymer release where there was over 12 uh, people in, fatally injured and somewhere between 2,000 and 20,000 people hospitalized. It depends on where you get the numbers from. And, um, and then in Beirut, which unfortunately resulted in hundreds dead, thousands injured, and hundreds of thousands of people with no home. These incidents inspire me to spread my message now, to make sure that everywhere across the world, people are developing their skills so that we can manage process safety well, and we can all get home safely. So if this is the sort of thing you might be interested in, if you want to learn from my experience and from the experience of others who I'll bring as guest uh, inter interviewees on this channel, then just click on subscribe and get in touch with questions, topics, what you want to hear about, and let's try and change the world together. Let's make process safety clear, easy to understand, and something that everybody just does as part of their everyday.